Hey guys, Chris Favero here, or as some of you guys might know me as Ranger Reviewer. And now the reason I say now you guys know me as is because on my own first personal Facebook page, I actually revealed to my uh, revealed to my uh, close friends and some people I connect with that um, I collect Power Rangers toys and I do these reviews and such, um, which I've kept a secret for the past five years. And it's been five years since May 5th, and on May 5th of this year, I was actually supposed to do uh, kind of a documentary interview style video. I just didn't have time to edit it because of finals week, and I got caught up in that. So unfortunately, that didn't happen. So I just decided to make this video. And fortunately, I have poison ivy, so this is why it's, it's oh. wrapped. Why did I get into collecting Power Rangers, you guys might ask? Um... The reason I got into Power Rangers is because uh, Power Rangers never kind of left me as a kid. Um, I remember going into Walmart when Dino Thunder came out and I was just wanting to see the toys and they had them on pallets when you first walked into the Walmart next to the greeter and whatnot. And I was so intrigued by it. I don't know. I was like, oh, they're doing another dinosaur theme again. And I didn't know anything about Sentai at all. So uh, there was that. And during that same year and going to Christmas time, um, my cousin and I uh, were watching old Power Rangers videos, and at that point I didn't uh, think much of it, but um, that was two huge things. One, I got back into Power Rangers, and two, that was the year I discovered YouTube. That, that Christmas I discovered YouTube, so um, that laid the foundation for me. Um, a couple years later, let's move into like 2008 when I was a sophomore in high school, uh, I really got back into it for some reason. Uh, I think it was during Jungle Fury. Uh, they released uh, something called Super Legends, and something for those who don't know what it is and who are friends of mine that don't know anything about Power Rangers, uh, Super Legends was a kind of an adult collector's um, line for Power Rangers, and they wanted to bring back the old Mighty Morphin Power Rangers toys and, and put them into like new molds and stuff like that. So you had the um, the Green Ranger and the White Ranger, which were the oh, was it Green Ranger and Lord Zed, which were the first ones that uh, came out, and then came out the Gold Ranger and the White Ranger, uh, Titanium, and uh, Samurai uh, Green. Um, but I just really started getting back into it, and uh, I was so very intrigued by it, uh, by the merchandise, and I was very, I, I was always fascinated by how Megazords were, and uh, the Morphers. So um, I think the first thing I did was I wanted to buy myself a Power Morpher, and the Power Morpher was hard to find back then. Uh, I think they were going for about $100 and I wasn't really prepared uh, to um, spend that much on it, but me personally I was like I need to get one now and whatever. So I saved up about $70 uh, in change and got that converted into like bills and stuff uh, and then I asked my dad for like my, for, for some like, like 30 bucks or something to get my first one. And it was a gold power morpher and uh, uh, you'll probably see some footage or something. I'll try to get some. And uh, it was from uh, Member A. I remember that. And what was it? Uh, the gold was awful. Um, like you would rub the Power Morpher and uh, some of the paint would fall off. So that was rather unfortunate. And the stickers were actually home printed and like they were, I, th I think there was like glue sticked on. So there was that. But I did eventually redo the whole Morpher itself. Got some uh, um, metal uh, Starlight Studios coins and it's it's really awesome. Unfortunately, it's packed up right now, so um, that's why I'm not doing it in front of the uh, usual collection. So there's that. All right. Next question is why did I start Ranger Reviewer Zero Seven or Ranger Reviewer now? I'm still not used to saying that. Um, the reason I started Ranger Reviewer was because I was doing a lot of Power Rangers, or I started to do some Power Rangers toys. Uh, I think I was getting into RPM or. Um, it was Go Under in the Japanese one, uh, Engine Sentai Go Under, and I got some Changers and a Megazord or uh, Engino, and uh, I wanted to show off some Power Ranger stuff, some Super Sentai on my channel, and I was at that time I was also doing Pokemon stuff, so I didn't really want to conflict them, and I decided to just split them up. Musical Eagle was um, Pokemon at the time, obviously it's not, and Power Rangers was Ranger Reviewer Zero Seven, and. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do that, see how that would go, and uh, another good question is why Ranger Reviewer 07? I don't know. Um, Ranger Reviewer, I think, was taken, and I was just like, I don't feel like really doing like the Ranger Reviewer or something like that, so I just put up a number, um, and 07's always been like my favorite number, and I uh, just went on with that. 
Oh, uh, my first question. Why did you keep it hidden away for, from the rest of society for, um, for five years? Uh, there's good reasons for it. Uh, I've always been self-conscious about myself, self-conscious about what people, I mean, just conscious about what people think of me. I've always, um, from like, I guess grades, a little bit of grade school to like a little uh, more, more often in high school, I was pretty excluded from some stuff. I, I wasn't very sociable. Um, but I always tried hard to try to fit in, but um, I was that nerdy Asian kid. I was overweight. I wore glasses. I had braces. Um, what else? I, I was always into like different stuff, and I couldn't really find a, a clique or a group of friends that I could like be stable. I mean, I do have like friends from high school, but I would never have a stable group of friends that you know I would sit always sit with um, besides sophomore year in high school uh, at lunch because. Uh, lunch was honestly very lonely, I would say, um, even, uh, during senior year when, uh, we were allowed to leave, if you, if you had, uh, lunch, eight period, um, there was a lot of times where I ate by myself at Wendy's, so, there is that, um, I think for the most part, if you're, if you get this from my Facebook channel, I mean, Facebook page, you're probably one of those friends that I actually, I, or I like that, or I like you. Um, if I'm not friends with you on Facebook, there's probably a freaking good reason why, uh, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that was, that was pretty much the main reason I didn't want to be judged. And, um, to have it hidden in, in high school, I mean, to, in college, I, I really didn't, I mean, most of the time, all the, all the videos aside from, like, my sophomore year when I went to community college was because I wasn't, uh, very, well, I, my, my social life was very, um, impactful in my life, so, like, during Penn State, um, and my two years, so far, at Temple have been, uh, very sociable, and, um, all my videos, my Power Rangers videos, always came in during the summer, but in that sophomore year of BCC, I was very, to myself, I didn't really talk to anyone there, um, except for, like, two or three people that, uh, I really enjoyed having their company with, so, uh, there was that, so... That's it. All right, let's talk about money. Um, do my parents support me financially? There have been times where they have. Um, I think it was my freshman year of, I guess you can call it, they were kind of supporting me financially. Just don't tell them. Um, so my freshman year of Penn State, I actually, you know, that my parents would send me money just for like groceries and stuff. But I ate terribly uh, during freshman year of Penn State. It was ramen and chicken breasts pretty much every night. And rice, and a lot of rice. Um, my roommate TC, I think he just subscribed to my channel, will vouch for me that for most part, um, I was always searching for like Power Rangers figures and he will like vouch that we would go to Walmart that was open 24-7 during 2 o'clock in the morning because we were freaking bored. And um, yeah, I would just look for like the new armored figures or what was it yeah the powered up figures yeah that was it and um yeah i used the money that was supposed to be for groceries and two power rangers but um when i went to bcc i started working um and you know my adsense really caught up um which was great at the time uh so i, I got paid um monthly from adsense and uh, i started working at toys r us and all that money from Toys R Us and AdSense would go directly to Power Rangers videos. And you can see, like, during that uh, Power Rangers, or during that year, that I was so focused on Power Rangers. And the thing about me is when I focus on something, I'll focus on it for, like, six months or a year. Um, so, and then right after BCC, um, or during BCC, when it was February, is when I got caught off from Power Rangers. Is th and that's the, re uh, the reason was because... I actually want to lose weight, and I was so focused on losing weight from February of that year all the way to the February of next year um, was because you guys pretty much didn't see me at all, or I posted like little to nothing. Um, so that's a good explanation. But all the money, like money, is like all from work and uh, AdSense. So all of you know the clicks that you guys do for ads uh, goes directly into Parameters. So uh, there is that. Do my parents, family, relatives hate, uh, friends hate that I do this? My parents hate that I do this. Uh, they, from the start, they've always hated that I collect toys. They don't get the gist of um, collecting. Uh, but I do do it for like thinking of the future because 
Um, you know, power morphers were what, like $20 back in the day, and now they're all the way to 100 so um, I look at it as like investing, and I'll eventually obviously sell it off later so when it like um, the price goes up. Um, but from the start, they've always hated that I've ordered Power Rangers toys from eBay, um, Ranger Board, or or whatever Craigslist or or not. And then the same thing can, same thing could be said from sneakers. Um, they always want to make sure that I'm using my money well. And for the most part, I'm I think I've done okay with my monies, but um, they do hate that I do this. But uh, as for videotaping stuff, I mean they don't really care as long as it's not like I'm on the streets doing like drugs or getting into trouble. Uh, for them, yeah, they really enjoy that I come home every single day from school, not like do something random. So that's always good. My relatives, um, they just see it as toys. So I mean. They'll be like, oh, can I have this toy? I'm like, no, because it's on display and it's collectible. And it's like, he's about like five years old or seven years old. He's like, but why? It's a toy. It's a man to be played with. And I was like, well, it's old. And, you know, you'll eventually understand it when you're older. And some of my other cousins are like, why do you collect Power Rangers toys or something like that? I don't know. I just, I, I, I try to brush it off. Um, so... I don't, I don't really care what people usually think about me now, so there's that. Uh, as for friends, I, I have I've had a select few friends that I've told about it. Um, I think I remember talking to Allie at one point. She was in my French class, la my first, what was it, 2012, fall of 2012 at Temple. Um, I told her that I, I did Parenter's uh, reviews, and she was like, she's very open about it, and like, very supportive, and she was like, oh, that's awesome, and stuff like that, um, so, there's that, uh, but on the other hand, people that are really close to me, and, like, I know that they won't, like, really talk crap about me, or I think they don't, won't, won't talk shit about me, uh, I'll tell them that I do collect parenters, but, um, so yeah, I just really recently opened up to, um, my whole friends on Facebook and whatnot that, uh, I do this, uh, I do this for a, a good amount of time, not a living, and stuff like that, but, yep. That is that. Next question. Um, why aren't I posting as much as I would have la than last year? Um, last year was a good year for me because of the legacy stuff, and I think that's why um, a lot of good stuff came out of it. Um, it's because I I'm so busy with stuff. Uh, this past year I was in my Filipino organization, which I know I did a crappy job in. Um, social life, yeah, I have tons of people that I love to talk to at Temple. Uh, just really cool people, um, which we call it work. At one point, I worked two jobs at Zoomies and Hollister. That was tiring as anything, and like extracurricular activities, or I tried to uh, just staying on campus. I, I love staying over. Uh, we had a softball softball team for a little bit that didn't do too well. Okay, um, so there's that, and yeah, and just like personal stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going through a lot right now with this move, and obviously you can see that there's, like, nothing behind me, and if you took a... Well, you want to take a quick... Okay, let's take a quick... Okay, look. Pan around. There's literally nothing in this room. And I think I get this back into... Okay. So there's literally nothing in this room. So everything's pretty much moved out into boxes. Um, my mom is in California at the moment. I think it's... And my mom's in California right now, and I gotta pick her up Monday, and shit like that. Um, yeah, and my summer's about to start, and I don't know what to do with my life during the summer. Um, I, I'm hoping to, again, um, regain, or not regain, but I mean, lose again. Is there a word for lose? Lose again weight, because I feel like I, I did gain another, like, 10 to 20 pounds. Um, and there was a lot that to had to do with it. Um, you know, I'll talk about that in like a separate video and whatnot. So, uh, there is that. Uh, I guess that's that's why and stuff like that. All right, let's move on to the future. I hate, I th hate thinking about the future. I'm always I'm always want to say that just look at the present. Don't think. Hey, for some reason, my uh, my camera just shut off on me, and I hate that about Nikon cameras. You only have like a set time. Um, but anyways, uh. Let's talk about the future. Um, I'm not usually the one to say, let's talk about the future. I'm always saying, let's go talk about the present. Um, something future you, is something that you 
Um, can't really change. I mean, there's some aspects that you could. You can lead your way into one side or lead your way into another. But uh, for the most part, I, I like to look at the present. Uh, but for the future, it, it's hard to say. There's a lot of stuff that I've dealt with. Uh, I, I think this honestly was probably, mostly probably like a roller coaster ride of uh, emotions uh, this semester. And for the most part, it was kind of shitty. And you guys know that I don't really like to use curse words a lot. But uh, it was kind of shitty, and uh, it still continues to be. Um, but there's really nothing I can think about it, and I just always always think that something better is going to happen. Um, so I, I just always try to get motivated and stuff like that. Um, but with this, Power Rangers is hard. Uh, it's, like I said, from this semester, there's tons of things going on. Um, if somehow my... Like, my love of Power Rangers, like, it's usually, like, here. It's probably, like, down here. It's really relatively low um, to what it's been, in like, since last year. Uh, even with the Legacy stuff being announced and, like, the 5-inch figures, I, like, don't have passion for it, unfortunately. Um, like, I don't have time to edit. I don't, you know, have time to go search for, for toys or, or whatever. Um, I know there's, like, Amazon stuff like that, but, I mean, once I received those figures, it was just, like, ugh. I have to edit videos, and I have to edit videos at school, I have to, you know, do so many things, and I think that's because of those two things conflicting. Uh, just school and videos, and like, extra videos you want to do for money, it's it's just been hard. Um, but, I mean, yeah, there's that. So, I really don't know what's going to happen with this channel. Uh, I would love to say that it, it would, yeah, I would love to say that Power Rangers is still there, but... Um, it's hard. I mean, all my stuff's going to California. I didn't really have a choice. My parents were just like, ah, oh, you're moving all your crap to, to California. So, um, there is that. Uh, Alright, so, um, I guess I'll leave it on kind of a positive note. Um, what kind of advice do I have for people that want to get into the YouTube business? Um, I'd say save your money and buy good equipment. That's, that's one thing I want to say. Um, I know people say, oh, if it's a camera, it's a camera. It all depends on the content. I mean, th yeah, it does depend on the content, but, I mean, if people can't see what you're, what you're, you know, trying to show off, um, like, if I was trying to, like, review this phone, like, and it's, and you're trying to use, like, a, a Flip HD or something like that. Not saying Flip HDs are bad, but, I mean, uh, there's better cameras out there, better options that you could have, um. And get to know kind of software uh, base. If you don't have like, uh, what should we call it, Final Cut Pro or iMovie or something like that. I mean, iMovie is great. I use it all the time still um, because it's so simple to use and like all this production stuff for, for Range Reviewer, it doesn't need like high tech, you know, or higher uh, tier software. But I mean, um, if you don't have that stuff, try to look around. Um, I, I, if you go to a university, I'm pretty sure that they would have like a tech center that we have at Temple where um, some of the, uh, whatchamacallit, most, some of the computers also have uh, Final Cut Pro and uh, iMovie if you use their Macs. And if you're using like a Windows computer, I don't, I don't, do they still have Windows Movie Maker? That's what I used to use back in the day um, for simple stuff. But uh, always try to strive out to be the best. Don't settle for crap quality. I know I have, I think this year is like a good indication of that is I just like set out crap out there because once I like, I set it out, like I will never rewatch it. And you know when you have a great video is when you rewatch it so many times and you can't get enough of it. Um, there has been like a lot of videos of mine that I was like, this is awesome. I'm and like once I once I upload it, I'll rewatch it just to make sure everything's okay, and I really enjoy it. But I think yeah, just make sure. I, I always believe quality over over quantity. Um, you can have a hundred cameras, but if you don't have the right camera, um, things can go sour. If you don't have the right microphone, things can go sour. People can't hear you. Um, people can't see what you're doing. Um, and just like get used to everything that you use. I mean. Uh, there's cameras that you can use, like, I don't know, <laughs> uh, just get used to it, like, software and cameras, because if you're in a media major, um, just be comfortable with it, I mean, the reason, 
I did so, I think I did so well, and I had like a 90 in my production class this year, uh, it was because I was so comfortable with already using equipment, so, um, and it's all because of YouTube, so there's that. Um, another piece of advice I would give to people is try to socially network yourself. Um, get a Twitter, get a Facebook, get Instagram if you want. I don't use Instagram. Um, get um, a WordPress, get your own blog out there. Um, go on forums, get your name out there. Uh, go on Reddit, get your name out there. It's the best way to get noticed. Um, I think some of the people that have really helped me out through this whole thing are really close, like Twitter people, Ranger Reward uh, people. Um, let's see. Linear Ranger, um, Trekkie, you know, uh, not Vashis Stampede, why do I say Vashis Stampede? I don't, I don't think I've ever talked to him before. Uh, <laughs> just, I'm trying to think of other people, but like, Razzle, there you go. I'm trying to think about other people, uh, who have helped me out on this, like, journey, and like, I've talked to them countless amounts of times about Paranger stuff to try to get information. Um, it does truly help, uh. And don't be hesitant to contact, you know, actors or something like that. Um, because you never know, they might say yes, they might say no. If they're in your neighborhood or something like for a comic convention, you know, uh, say that you're a YouTuber or aspiring YouTuber that you would like to get them for an interview if they have time or something like that. Because, I mean, that one interview could like skyrocket you from here all the way to here. So it, it never does hurt to, you know, ask around. So uh, there is that.